Welcome back. Well, a week after splitting with top-ranked Denver, the University of North Dakota men's hockey team returned to Grand Forks this past weekend to take on 2014 national champion Union College of the ECAC. For highlights of that matchup, here's Alex Heiner up in Grand Forks. Alex? Thanks, Kelly. Yes, UND goes from battling one recent national champ to another, but unlike last week's series in the Rockies, this Thanksgiving weekend tilt did not go the way North Dakota fans were hoping. To the Ralph, we go in game number one on Friday night. Peter Tome still in net, taking on a union team that started the season 0-5, but they had won seven of their last eight. So one of the hottest teams in the country coming to Grand Forks from Schenectady, New York, and they would have a strong opening 20 minutes. Ten minutes into the first, Ryan Walker able to deflect the Brandon Estes blast from the point past Tommy to make it 1-0 Dutchman. And a little bit later, Union on the power play. A little mistake here from the freshman goaltender giving the, well, the junior forward, Sebastian Vidmar, a wide open net to aim for. Easy goal this time as you see it again. Tommy, a little misadventure in nets. And the Swede able to make him pay. 2-0 North Dakota trailing at this point. But Fighting Ox would work their way back into this contest. A strong second period. UND would outshoot the Dutchman 30-12 in the second and the third. Jake Kupski, though, the junior goaltender from Wisconsin, able to stop everything North Dakota could throw at him, at least through two periods, keeping it 2 to nothing going into the third. But once we get to the third frame, Matt Kierstead putting a shot on goal. The deflection goes right to Christian Willannon, and the junior defenseman buries this one past Kupski. Willannon leading North Dakota in scoring. That's his fifth goal of the season. 13 points now on the campaign for the Senators draft pick. Watch it again. Kirstead off the rebound. There's Willannon. Boom. 2-1. to one. UND has life. 327 into the third. But just 52 seconds later, Union able to break away. Voskolius skating in and able to beat Tomei High glove side to make it 3-1. to one. The comeback short-lived as the Dutchman able to fire back in front by two goals. Pretty good skill there from one of the defensemen on this Union club. Tome, eh, maybe wishes he had that one back. 120 left, extra attacker out there for North Dakota. Good opportunity for Colton Pullman on the backhand. Kupski makes the save, they get the clearance, and Brendan Taylor, despite being tripped up, somehow gets wood on this, and the puck goes off the pipe and in, and that would just about do it for this one. Four to one, your score, and four to one, your final as North Dakota drops back to back games for the first time this season. Huge night for Kupski, 37 saves, just one goal allowed. You see Willan in the fifth goal of the campaign for him. North Dakota, by the way, 0-3-1 now at home on Black Fridays since 2013. A tough one for the boys on Friday nights. We got outplayed, we got outworked, and um, they were just the hungrier team in the first period, and that's kind of what happened to end the game. I mean, couldn't come back from a, from a bad 20 minutes. We kind of get away from our game early on throughout these last few games that we've lost, and I think that's kind of our, our weakness. I think we're kind of working on that, getting a harder start, it's more of a grind game in, in the offensive zone, but I think at the end of the day, guys have to be ready to go at the start of the game. The coaches can only say so much, guys can only say so much in the locker room before it just, just gets annoyingly repetitive, you know? Like, it's just got to be a mindset from each individual guy, do whatever you have to do before the game to know that when that puck drops to start the game, we're going. There's no time to wait to the second period or third period before, oh, now we got to come back and try and win a game, you know? If we can play like we did at the second or third period tonight and play that in the first period and carry that on, that would be huge. I thought uh, after the first period we were moving, getting shots through. I think a big thing tomorrow will be getting pucks to the net. They block a ton of shots, and for D can be a little bit more evasive and get some pucks to the net and forwards get in front of the goalie, I think uh, that will be a huge factor tomorrow. North Dakota hoping for better in game two, and as you would expect, the number three team in the country, all smiles at the beginning of this contest, trying to erase the, the taste of Friday night, and they would be on it from the start. A strong opening period, unlike the night before. Brett Gardner, a good chance there on the second shift of the game, and then Grant Mismash, the freshman, hitting the pipe, beating Cuspy, but not able to beat the woodwork. A couple of good opportunities for UND to get on the board early in the first. A sigh of relief, probably, from the junior goaltender. 14 minutes in though, UND would find the breakthrough. Colton Pullman skating through the defense and beating Kupski glove high. How about Colton Pullman now? Three goals in his last five games, six points in his last six. 
Fourth goal of the season for the sophomore defenseman from East Grand Forks, 1-0 North Dakota. It would stay that way through the rest of the first and all through the second. Fast forward to the third early moments here. Little defensive laps from Casey Johnson, gifting an opportunity here for the Dutchman. And Brett Sapinski, the leading scorer for this Union team, makes the most of it, able to beat Tome on the backhand. 1-1, one 156 one, into the second, into the third, excuse me, and then just 22 seconds later, another mistake at the back, an interception, and again, the Dutchman take advantage. Ryan Scarfo, his seventh goal of the year. Those two, Scarfo and Sapinski, both on eight game point streaks, and they put their team up. See it again, tough deflection off the skate of Ludwig Hoff, and then Scarfo right there again to beat Tomei on the backhand, two to one, just like that, but Peter Tomei would make up for a couple of mistakes there in net with some huge saves as this third period would move on. Union on the power play, watch this, the initial stop and then the blocker save sliding to the right to keep it 2-1. North Dakota would have their chances as well. How about Shane Gersich going back to the spin rama that worked against Denver last season. Kupski not fooled this time to keep it 2-1, but later on Union still on the power play, but it's Gersich able to knock home the rebound in front with just 3.18 left. Rhett Gardner on the initial shot, a huge goal from Shane, his fifth of the season, to finally get one past the junior netminder. Watch it again. Good things happen when you put the puck on frame and you drive to the top of the crease. The junior forward from Chaska, Minnesota, able to knot it up at two. We go to overtime. The tie could not be broken, so this one remains two to two in the end. Strong weekend for Gersich and company and for Rick Bennett's crew making the long trip from upstate New York. As you can see, North Dakota, a 2-2 draw. They avoid their first three-game losing streak since 2013. Not the result North Dakota was looking for this weekend, but still not a bad way to wrap up Thanksgiving weekends. You know, after uh, last night, we need to rebound. And uh, I thought the first period we came out exactly what coaches wanted us to do. We are getting pucks behind their D, you know, playing in their end for a change. Uh, good transition through the neutral zone, I thought. And like you said, it was a good 60-minute game. Um, Couple lapses there, but I mean, it's it's that hockey too. So um, overall, it's, it's what we needed to uh, to go into next weekend. Starts are key for us. Uh, we tried to get mentally engaged today during the day, and then be ready to go right from the drop of the puck. So uh, that was huge for us to get the first goal there by Colton, and I think that kind of you know set us up for the rest of the game. We kind of played with with momentum instead of playing from behind. With Wooly out there, he makes a lot of space for me, and you know all our great forwards down low, and uh, you know getting the puck up top. You know you got to hit the net and stuff like that. So. Uh, yeah, hopefully I can keep uh, creating some more offense for the team. It's not what we wanted, but at the same time, we're you know we're happy that we got you know, a few points out of it. Uh, I thought for the for the most part, probably 58 minutes, we played great tonight, and uh, you know that's something we need to keep building off of and, and be ready to go now for for Western. So a loss and a draw from Thanksgiving weekend for North Dakota. We'll have much more on this series when we come back. Bradbury joins us when Midcoast Sports Tonight returns.